Hello friends, welcome to my channel again. I am Vijay Lohar here, continuing our VLAN topic with this session. In our previous video, we have got a basic concept about VLAN that it's a method of dividing ports in multiple groups and creating logical switch inside a physical switch. And each logical switch acts like they are independent switches. So in this session, we'll talk about inter-VLAN routing, which will allow us to forward traffic between VLAN. If uh, we need to forward traffic between VLAN, we need a routing device or layer 3 device. So these are the options we can enable inter-VLAN routing. As you can see here, the first method is by using physical interface. The second method of inter-VLAN inter routing is by using sub-interface and the third method of inter-VLAN routing is by using multi-layer switch. So let's talk about first method that is by using physical interface. If you have a switch as you can see here and this switch is having VLAN 10, 20 and 30. These three VLANs and each VLAN is configured with different network address that is 192.168.10.0 slash 24 is for VLAN 10. 192.168.20.0 slash 24 is for VLAN 20 and 192.168.30.0 slash 24 is for VLAN 30. So they are logically separated as well as the network address of the device are also different for each VLAN. So they will not be able to access resource of forward traffic to each other. So what we need, what we need is a uh, routing device which will forward traffic between each VLAN. So we have added a router here and if we are using inter VLAN routing by using physical interface every VLAN will use a physical interface to connect with your router. As you can see here our VLAN 10 is connected with router by a physical interface both end and same as for 20 and 30. So this is a legacy method because it will consume lots of physical interface in your switch as well as in your router. Just assume that if you have 50 number of VLAN, every VLAN will require a physical interface to connect with your router. So practically this is not possible, but if you have a limited number of VLAN in your switch, you can use that. So Let's proceed for the second method that is by using sub interface. So in this method, we are not going to connect multiple interface with our router, but we will use a single interface of switch and a single physical interface of router and router will configure a single physical interface as sub interface. As you can see here, I have named as fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 10 is the sub interface of fast ethernet 0 by 0 physical interface and so on for fast ethernet 0 by 0 dot 20 fast ethernet 0 by 0 dot 30. I have just signed these numbers here you can use any number and you can create multiple number of sub interface for a physical router interface and at the switch side we will use trunk protocol to forward VLAN traffic to routers sub interface. So we'll talk much about uh, trunk in our next video. Let's proceed for the third method and that is using multi-layer switch. So multi-layer switch are the advanced switches which is capable of routing itself. So we are not going to connect any link with our switch but uh, our switch will automatically route packet among VLANs because switch is itself capable of routing features. So let's proceed with the practical session. As you can see here, I have added some computers for VLAN 10 and I have given network address to that is 192.168.10.0 slash 24 for VLAN 10 as we have discussed here. And 192.168.20.0 slash 24 for VLAN 20 and 192.168.30.0 slash 24 for VLAN 30. I have connected all the PCs with switch but I haven't configured uh, VLAN right now. 
but I have configured IP address for all the computers like 192.168.10.2 for the first computer because I want to use 192.168.10.1 as default gateway for this VLAN. So I have started IP address from 2 and so on for the VLAN 20. I have assigned IP address. 192.168.20.2 and I'll assign 192.168.20.1 as gateway address and let's verify this VLAN and that is 192.168.30.2 and the gateway will be 192.168.30.1. So first of all let's configure VLAN for VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. Enable to VLAN brief verify the VLAN first. As you can see here, we have only the default VLAN. Now we will have to configure VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and 30. So what I will do here is configure terminal VLAN 2. I will start creating VLAN from 2 because there is already VLAN 1 and the name of VLAN will be VLAN 10 whatever name you can use here but uh, we are using VLAN 10 and now we are creating third number of VLAN and that will be VLAN 20 again VLAN 4 will be VLAN 30 okay let's verify the VLAN so VLAN brief and as you can see here we have VLAN 10 20 and VLAN 30 but still we do not have any port assigned to this VLAN so what next we have to do here is we'll have to assign some port for this VLAN. As you can see here, we have added some computer and I'm connecting this VLAN 10 computer with port number 1, 2 and 3. VLAN 20 computers with 9, 10 and 11. VLAN 30 computers with 17, 18 and 19. So let's assign some port. I'm not going to assign port one by one. I will use interface range command for defining range of interface. Interface range fast Ethernet 0 by 1 to 8 number port will be switch port access VLAN 2. So I have added port number 1 to 8 on VLAN 2 and that is VLAN. 10. Again, I am assigning port number 9. Be careful about the interface to 16 to VLAN 3 and 17 to 21 in VLAN 4. So, verify your port again. So, VLAN brief. And now, as you can see, we have VLAN 10 with the interface 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and we have VLAN 20 with the interface 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 and VLAN 30 is having 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21. But uh, we have connected our system with 1, 2 and 3. one two and three so this four five six seven and eight number port of vlan 10 is empty right now for vlan 20 we have connected our computer with 9 10 and 11 9 10 and 11 so these ports are engaged by these computers but 12 13 14 15 and 16 are still there in vlan 20 and so on for vlan 30 is using 17, 18 and 19, 17, 18 and 19 but 20 and 21 port is still available in VLAN 30. So what we have to do here is according to the first method that is by using physical interface every VLAN will use a physical interface and connect with the routing device. So let us connect the router. So I am going to connect.
with this interface of VLAN 10 which is empty right now fast ethernet 0 by 8 to router. So, 0 by 8 to routers first interface that is 0 by 0. Okay. Now, I am going to connect the second VLAN that is VLAN 20. Let us see which one is the empty port here. 20 is connected with 9, 10, 11, but 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 are still there. So, I will use 16 number of port. Now, the 16 number of port will be connected with routers second port and again let us verify the empty port for VLAN 30 and the empty port is it is used by computer. So, we have 0 by 20 and 0 by 21. So, I am going to use this interface to connect with router 0 by 21. So, I am connecting 1 by 1. Okay. So, we have connected our switch with routing device or router. Now, let us configure the router for routing. Enable configure terminal host name will be R1, whatever name you can use here. And first of all, verify your interface name. So, IP interface brief, and it will show you the name of your interface. Like this one is fast Ethernet 0 by 0, which is connected with your VLAN 10 fast Ethernet 0 by 1 which is connected with your VLAN 20 and Ethernet 0 1 by 0 which is connected with your VLAN 30. So, let us configure the fast Ethernet interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0 which is connected with VLAN 10 and I have configured this IP as gateway. So, this address will be here. IP address 192.168.10.1 1 will be the gateway for VLAN 10 255.255.255.0 okay no shut exit now configure the second interface that is 0 by 1 which is connected with your VLAN 20 so IP address for this interface will be 192.168.20.1 255.255.255.0 no shut and now I have to connect interface fast ethernet sorry now I have to configure ethernet 1 by 0 which is connected with your VLAN 30 this one is not fast ethernet but it was ethernet 1 by 0 so, I am going to assign IP address 192.168.30.1 as gateway address for VLAN 30. No shut. Exit. Exit. So, VLAN brief. So, IP interface brief. And as you can see here, we have configured our IP address properly. This one is for VLAN 10, this one is for VLAN 20 and this one is for VLAN 30. So, let the interface comes up. Okay. So, inter, uh, so your interface is up now. Now, if you want to verify, just ping to another VLAN. Ping 192.168.20.2 which is the IP address of this computer i'm trying from this to this computer and we must get reply because router will forward packet it will take some time at very first time and further you will get reply as you can see here we are getting reply if you want to verify the route through which the the traffic will forwarding just use command treasured 192.168.20.2 and as you can see here your packet goes to 192.168.10. which is the gateway of first PC and then that is forwarded to this one. So, 
I am trying to connect with this one that is 30 dot 30 dot 2 yes we are getting reply and if you want to verify the root as you can see here your packet is going to 192.168.10.1 which is the gateway a router IP address and further router is forwarding packet to this address. So our inter VLAN routing is configured by using interface now and our VLAN is communicating with each other. So guys, I hope you have got a concept of inter VLAN routing with this method and this is a very first method of configuring inter VLAN routing by using physical interface. In our further video, we will see how to configure intervener VLAN routing by using sub interface and by using multi layer switch. I hope you like this video. If so, please keep watching and do share with your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Till next video, bye bye.